Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Hunk Room Gaming Channel and today we will be streaming Kingdom Come Deliverance again. I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things and see how things are going. So, thank you for joining us. Okay, it says everything is live. Please check your video resolution. The current resolution is, which is not optimal. 1920 by 1080. Well, yeah, it isn't optimal, but I don't want to be missing frames. Alright, I think it was Playline 3. At your service, my lady. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Townberg, 23.3 hours, 23.4 hours. Yeah, I think that's it. DLC activated from the ashes after you and your comrades in arms drove the bandits of uh, previous lovers. The village was once again left to the slowly swallowing up by the woods. A shame before being plundered by a wrecked renegade lord, it was no doubt a sprawling, bustling hamlet. Judging by the size of the ruined church there, which is all that's left as a reminder of the former prosperity. You always wondered why the folk never went back to live there, so you were pleasantly surprised to learn that Sir Davish has plans for his former hamlet. You don't know exactly what he has in mind, but you'll be glad to have a hand in it. You're sure to find it in Tomberg what he needs to be done. Wait, you're sure to find out in Tomberg what needs to be done. All right, uh, close. The Armorer's Adventures of Bolts or Hans Capon. Amoros. Amoros? Amoros. The Amoros. Uh, there's never a dull moment, Bolts or Hans Capon, before he proceeds with his nightly duties. He wants me to help him with certain delicate matter of uh, great urgency. Not in some friends have somewhat different priorities than the other local lords. It wouldn't be unreasonable to assume that a damsel is involved. After our last dramatic adventure at the bathhouse, I'm curious and more than a little apprehensive as to what latest escapade will be all about. Alright. Tournament! Uh, black clouds of strife are gathering. The thundering drums of war rumble across the land and for the whole kingdom awaits the next lightning bolt with bated breath. Not so the Undaunted Sir Hanush. Wait, not so the undaunted Sir Hanush, who decided to bolster morale with a regular attorney to keep his subjects fighting fit uh, and distract them from the previous gloom. Pervasive gloom. Uh, gloom. The attorney takes place every few days by the upper castle in Ratai. All types of melee weapons are permitted and the contender is open to combatants from all the contest is open for combatants of from all walks of life, even the lowborn, uneducated misfits like you. Just go to ask Sir Capon, Sir Hans Capon, about it and he'll tell you all you need to know. Alright, I'm not ready for that yet. Uh Okay, I know I'm getting dizzy. I know why. I did this wrong. Uh, graphic settings. I need to turn down the particles and the lighting. Alright, confirm. Yes. Alright. Let's resume it. Yep, there we go. Eh, it's not 60, but eh, it is 60 now. It's gonna drop. Yeah, there it is. Uh, I think it's the rain that's doing that. Uh, 
Alright. Whatever. Whatever. My jumping so low. Ah, there we go. I was hitting my head on the roof. That's why. That's why I was jumping low. Uh. We got D. Let's check the map. Because I'm confused. Uh. I got. Kill the camp leader. Alright, I know where he is. Uh. Now we're here. Find out how to get better conditions for the sick. And this is... Interrogate the captive at Marhuyed. Find Father Simon. Alright, so we got A... B and A. What the hell? Oh, because those are secondary. This is a secondary. And this is a primary. Okay. I decided to stream when I have a little bit of a cold. I got over it. I, I, I had stopped coughing for two months. And then I started again. If something is being a little bit weird, please let me know in chat. Alright, what the hell's going on? What the hell's going on? What the hell's going on? Can I ask him for training? Because I don't want to have my first fight. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. Uh, I have some trophies. Apparently Show I do. Show me. Good work. That's the way to deal with the scum. Hey, I got some money out of it. Training. Uh, maces and bludgeons. No, I got I got a sword. I'd like right? to improve my swordsmanship. Certainly. He's gonna ask me for money, right? Mm. I'd like to hone my skills. All right, but it'll cost you. Five hundred and forty. Hmm. Nah. Maybe another time. Farewell. Bye bye. Bye, dude. Okay. Let's get out of the city and let's go try to figure out what the deal is with Merkuyed. To Merkuyed, I know how to solve it. I think I still remember. I still remember. My memory is full. How are you, Henry? Now, horsey. Here, yeah, horsey, 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 horsey was X. For some odd reason. It's not H, it's X. But it is more comfortable. Alright, there we go. Let's check my stats. Player. Ooh, vitality. I have a point. Do I? Yes, I do. Sprinter, thick blooded. Cute uh, info. Uh, Run faster, but also tire faster. You bleed slower. If you don't either overeat or go hungry for five consecutive days, you get plus one bonus to vitality and agility. If you're in discipline, you can dispel hunger with anything. I'll go with this one first, because I think I have the right kind of food. Uh, Yeah, I got dried mushrooms. Nourishment is 76. And this will give me two. Oh wait, I need to I need to buy some food. <coughs> yeah, this bomb. Go ahead, do it. Thank you. Alright. Hey, you're a vendor, right? I'm glad to see you. Oh you're not a food vendor though. I, I'm not glad see to see you. Later. Bye. I need the food vendor who was the cook in the larder. Oops. Uh, let's not bump into the Lord. 
Uh, you Welcome, doing? Henry. No, you're not. There we go. Come on. That's not the cook. Where's the old lady? Hey. Find me the cook. Ah. You were the cook. God be with you. Uh, how long do you last for? Four days. Eh, I can buy two of those. And honey is infinite. But, uh, whatever. Milk. Pretzel. Nourishment. Alright. Pancakes. Sweet pancake. Okay. Uh, check basket. Yeah, let's check a little bit. Because those prices are ridiculous about price. for some bread and pretzel. Hmm. Alright, so. I'll give you that much. Alright, so. See? Uh, sorry, but bro, I know you were carrying, carrying something heavy. Let's run. Let's run, let's hurry. My first playthrough, I remember doing a lot of running. So it got my agility up, so I was using agility weapons. But now I'm using strength, which is a little bit weird. to grind for. Um, I still haven't figured out exactly what I have to do to raise my strength other than training with a sword. Uh, where was I going? Yeah, that's right. Let ditch go. Yeah. There we go. Oh, you're doing it. Oh, we gotta take the road down there. Come on. See, you can do it. There you go. And now I need to make a left and cross the river or go up there. Go up the mountain. Was it up there? Yeah, it was up there. I, I crossed it here, so hey, whatever. I wonder if people can hear me okay. I haven't tried it, I haven't tested it. Da -da 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 -de 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 this oh it's a constellation cross all right was it constellation cross or constellation cross no it's not constellation it must be constellation maybe consecration cross i don't know yeah but i'm definitely not going the right way anymore i know that much all right let's check it out let's check out the map I'm going to Rovna. I don't want to go to Rovna. Oh crap, I need to go back and take this road down here. I think. Yeah, I need to go back. Oh. Is this a hunting camp? Yeah, it is. No, this is a hunting camp. This is a fishing camp, maybe. Alright, let's go past the blacksmith and we'll go around. We'll go around the wood. We're not gonna. We're not gonna press our luck in the wood. Yeah. It's like, could meet some bad people. And I'm not ready to fight anything yet, because I'm out of practice. Uh, I forgot that bushes. Bushes are hardcover. Uh, jump. There we go. I have a good horse. Pebbles. Well, it's not a great horse, but it's it's not a bad one. Why do I feel like I'm sitting on his neck? There's, there's something weird about it. Uh, huh. I know you're getting tired. There's the path around the woods. I know, horsey, I know. Take a break. Cows. Moo. Those are bulls. I didn't see another. No others. The bulls. Oh, da -da 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 -da. 
Actually, I'm probably too far away to see him anyway. Ooh, they made the horse remember. You don't have to press a double tap space anymore. Some improvements. Couldn't see the cows again. Uh, but that go should be down that way. There yeah, it is, where the smoke is. Burning the cows. Oh, horsey, sorry about that. Pull in the face. You can come here and just eat whatever's around. <laughs> I got muddy. Horses for sale here. Ooh, dude, what happened? God be with you. And with you. What's happened here? Things are bad. Very bad. First we get attacked by them brigands. Barely come out of that alive, and now the plague. Plague, you say? Indeed so. Something's up with the village. Even the livestock are dying. It's a gruesome sight. I heard the bandits didn't get very far here, though. Luckily, young Straw saw them still over by the cross and woke the whole village. We even captured one. He's tied up now at Melikar's place. But then, the disease came. Who attacked you? I don't know, some bandits. Ever since Scallops was raised, they've been marauding the whole province. Did you put up a fight? We most certainly did. Once Melikar heard young Straw shouting to the hills, he handed everyone a pitchfork or a flail, and we ambushed the bastards. Good on you. How did it turn out? We gave them what for until they turned tail and ran. But they cut up young Straw. Something awful. He didn't live to see morning. Who are Melikar and Straw? <sighs> That's right. You're not from round here, are you? Melikar's the one looking after things round here now. Before that, it was down to Smill from the Noyov Stud. But they killed him that time they raided the place. And young Straw is the son of Andrew, a local woodcutter. Or was, I should say. The bandit sort of that. The old man isn't taking it well. Hmm. All right. Where will I find Melikar? If you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, Melikar's <coughs> is the house on the left. Melikar. Would that be a milker? No, I wouldn't. Would it? I'd like to talk to Straw. I see. Well, if you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, you'll see Straw's house on the right. Main gate of the stables. I'll look at that. Tell me more about this plague. It sounds terrible. Worse than you can imagine. The old stud, livestock, sheep, chickens, all dead or dying. No doubt the people will be next. Melikar's old woman's taken to her bed, and it doesn't look good. Straw's wife and brother, oh, more and more. I'm sorry to hear it. I'm looking for Matthias. He works as a stable hand at the stud farm. Matthias? The brigand's got him, poor lad. He's lying wounded at the stud. Thanks. That'll be all for now. Take care now. Okay. So we figured some stuff out. Ah, uh, there he is. Hey, man, how are you doing, Matthias? Hal? You're a sight for sore eyes. What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, Matthias. Sir Radzig sent me here to investigate the raid. 
Sir Radzig. Looks like you've come up in the world, mate. You're here as his envoy? Yeah, something like that. But that's not important right now. Well, I'm glad to see you have a job. Lots of our old neighbors have been reduced to begging. If I were in your shoes, I'd get the hell out of here. There's some disease spreading. Disease? Folk is saying it's the plague. Whatever it is, it's bad. It started the day after the raid. First the horses got sick, then other animals, and now people are falling ill too. Oh, damn! Are you all right? Well, at least I haven't caught the sickness. But you've been hurt. It happened during the raid. One of those damn bandits fell on me, horse and all. My arm's badly broken, but better than a broken neck. <laughs> Tell me about the raid. What do you want to know? I hear one of the raiders was taken captive. I'd like to question him. Why, old Melahar let him have it over the head with a flail, and now he's locked up in the barn. But be careful. Why's that? That fucker killed young Straw, and his old man's sharpening his sickle for him. Melikar still hasn't decided what to do with him. Nah, he wouldn't sharpen sickle, but uh, he'll hand him over. I understand Straw wants revenge. I understand old Straw wants revenge, but first I have to question that bandit. What happens after is no skin off my nose. Good luck, then. Can you describe the raiders? I don't know. They came at dusk, so you couldn't see their faces. About 20 of them. They weren't humans, though. They spoke Czech. You talked to them? No, no. They were shouting at us. They were very sure of themselves to begin with, but when we hit them in the woods, they didn't look so brave. I know you've got courage enough <coughs> for any man, but how did a bunch of untrained villagers manage to <coughs> hold off armed bandits? One of the village lads caught sight of them coming through the woods and told Melikar, who roused the whole village, and everyone grabbed what they could. Pitchforks, axes, flails, and we went out to face them. What? You mounted an assault against them? Aye, and that was the key. It was the last thing those whore sons expected. A few of them still managed to break through to the village, probably wanted to torch it. But even the women here were armed with what they could find, and they took the bastards by surprise. <laughs> About this sickness When did this plague start? The day after the raid The horses were lying down in the stable So we knew something was up By afternoon they were all dead Then other animals started getting sick One after the other and Then people What are the signs that someone's getting sick? I don't leave the house much, but folk complain of fever and shakes. Some are throwing their guts up, and others are spewing from the other end. Has anyone died from it? Aye, old Verba. Although he was already on his last legs, so no one knows for sure if it was the plague that got him. Either way, the animals are dropping like flies, and people will end up the same for sure. Who's ill now? I don't know. What, with my arm the way it is, I don't go outdoors much. But I know Melikar and Straw have sick ones at home. Can I ask you a bit about Merhoyed? I haven't been here long enough to learn much, but ask away. Okay. What's Melikar like? The locals look up to him. Smil used to be in charge here, but he was killed in Neuhof. I oh, know. Sir Hanush hasn't had time to appoint a new vassal, and folk need someone to speak for them, so they picked Malachar. Thank God you had someone here who could take the reins. Aye. Alright, I'm gonna be back. Maybe I'll find something interesting, but whatever. Gazed through the tables and looked to the right. Was that it? So, like here? No, that's a that's a stable. Damn it! Let's wash up a little bit.
No, the main gate to the stable. This is it. All right. And look to the right. That's probably it. Who the hell are you? It's a guard. I can't talk to him. Hey, Malakar. Are you Malakar? Oh, aye, that's me. I need to speak with the prisoner. And why is that? Who might you be? Henry, envoy of Saradze Kobola. I'm here to investigate the attack. I'm sorry. I have other things on my mind right now. In case you hadn't noticed, we have pestilence raging here. And Saradzig won't help us with that. Any more than he helped us when we were attacked. No news has reached Ratai of any disease here. But I'm here now, and I can help you. Hmm. Well, since you serve Sir Adzig, you might be of some use. If anyone can be. Tell me what to do. There's a stable hand living with us here, Matthias. Yes, I know him. And he knows some girl who helps out in the monastery infirmary. Your hanker, I think her name is. She might know someone to turn to, if she's actually there. Very well. I'll go to the monastery. It's probably our best hope. Thank you. At least for taking the trouble. But then, even if you cared nothing for us, the prisoner's got the pestilence too. He'll die without help. If I have to go to the monastery, I need to know as much as possible about the disease. I'll definitely need to know its symptoms. They're bound to ask me that. It's hard to say. My wife is feverish. Others have the chills. I heard some are throwing up. Others still are breaking out in sores. But why don't you see for yourself? People talk a lot and I don't know what to believe anymore. Very well. I'll make the rounds. I've daubed lime on the afflicted houses. But don't stay too long in those homes. <laughs> that I can promise you. Brother, dearest brother, is that you? Yes, it's me, your um, brother. I don't is nearly here. We need to get the scallops for the fair. Um, tell me, brother, how are you feeling? Wait, you're, you're not my brother. You're one of those brutes. Brother, lock the door. They're back again, please, God, no. Brother, don't you recognize me? It's me. I'm your, your brother. I was gone for a long time. I've come back home for Advent, remember? Yes. Uh, uh, yes. I remember. Give me a drink of water, brother. Oh, I'm thirsty. Terribly thirsty. I feel like I'm burning in hell. I can drink a pitcher of water and right away I'm parched again. Good luck to you. Alright, let's not start trouble. <clears throat> Cause that guy just perks right up when he detects it. Um Let's run a little bit. Let's check the chicken coop. Chicken coop. No, that's animal trough. Uh, uh stuff. Alright, cool, whatever. Uh there we go, chicken coop. Eggs? No. Just moldy apples. All right. Crap, there's a fence in here. Uh, da, 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 di, 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 di. Okay. This guy was the. Let's wash yourself. Let's wash your hands like a doctor. Hey, lady, you're supposed to be over there. I'm gonna wait for you to finish because this is ridiculous. All right, um, there's nothing here. Let's ask this guy. Hey, man, you look like a dirty guy. Let's let's ask you some Good questions. Good day to you. What do you need? What's happened here? Things are bad. 
very bad. First we get a plague, you say? Indeed. Alright, so the villagers all tell you the same thing. Thanks. God be with you. Okay. Uh, villager, she's probably going to tell me the same thing. You're from Melikar's farm? Y yes <clears throat> I need to talk to the captain. Oh, no, no. Melikar forbade me to let anyone... Let's try it another way then. Take care. Ooh, look, thistle. That's everywhere. Nettle, not thistle. Okay. <sighs> Let's figure everything out. And remember, all right. So one guy had what? was thirsty. Have you come for my wife? You're out of luck. I'm old Straw, don't you know? Straw! You've taken my son. But you shan't take my wife. You bastard. I've come to help your wife. To help her over to the other side? Isn't that God's own truth? I'm sorry that they killed your son. I truly am sorry. But if you don't want that disease to take your wife, you'll let me see her right away. I can help her. I... I don't want her taken, no. There. You see? Eh? Uh, what? Are you a quack? Something <laughs> like that. Then go a to doctor it. doctor is a quack. Uh. Lady, how are you doing? There you go. Probably shouldn't hmm. sleep on the floor. Fever. Just like Melikar's wife. Sweet really? Mary, Mother of God, I can't bear this pain. All right, how are you doing, dude? Leave me be, all of you. All of us. It's just me. Just me, bro. Let me close the door for her. She's not cold. All right, there you go. Stop. I'm being nice to an NPC. Look at that. I want to be a nice guy. I want to be the nice dude. Nice dude. All right. I discovered a nest. No, I didn't. Ah, mint. I don't know if I need it, but hell. Uh. Where did I discover a nest? Oh, it's an owl's nest up there. All right, cool. It's up here somewhere, I think. Down here. Why would it be down here? Oh, there it is. Right up there. I have no idea how to get there, so. Bye. You're not allowed inside. If you want to go in, talk to Melikar. I'll, what, I'll talk to you. My respects to you. Okay. Yeah. God be with you. That, that's all you can say. Oh, uh, crap. These can't be all the houses in the village. There's there's no way there's only two houses in the village. Uh, who the... Agony. Oh, the agony. Go, go away. Leave me alone. No, let me sleep. Yeah, Rob. I, I don't want to rob you. But. Uh, no. Oh my God. No, let me sleep. Alright, I'll let you sleep. Stupid lady. I want to ask you how you're feeling. You're complaining. There's my horse. All right, so we got this house. All right, please. Jesus, lad, what are you doing please. here? Can't you see the play cross on the door? Oh, I like this guy. The monastery sent me to help. 
He's like, man, I'm Don't dying. What the boy. hell are you doing? It's about time. I need to know exactly what you're suffering from. Oh, I see. Well, I have a dreadful fever. My wife, too. I recall almost nothing of yesterday. I was raving for most of it. Is there anything else? Apart from the fever? Well, forgive me for saying so. The shit just pours out of me. <laughs> I can't keep anything in. I'm completely worn out. My wife's the same. You have my thanks. I'll try to bring help. Wait a minute, will you? I have one favor to ask. So tell me. I need to write my will. Can you write? I might manage that. Excellent. So get writing. Yes. I, Vincent, son of Vincent, grandson of Vincent of Mehoyed, do bequeath my estate and all my worldly goods to my wife, Wilma. If my wife were to pass away with me, mm -hmm. I bequeath all to my cousin, Dobesh, at this time the cobbler in Yanovitz. In no event shall my prodigal son, Elia, the layabout and good-for-nothing, inherit a single groschen. All customs and traditions aside. Um, should I write that too? Yes. And then write, <laughs> the executor of my last will is to be my good friend, Father Fabian, presently the parish priest at the church of St. Martin in Sassel. Anything else? This will was written down by. What is your name? Henry, presently in fealty to Sir Radzig Kobola. Well, I never. That will add some weight. Here, take my ring so Fabian will know it to be truly from me. You can never be sure nowadays. Your son Elijah, what did he do to you? Christ Almighty! Trying to interfere, are you? What did he do? Everything. He was to be married, and instead he ransacked the house and ran off. The little fucker. <laughs> Last year he was some jackhand in Sasso, boozing, playing what? dice, lying Jesus. and cheating for a living. Such Please. a disgrace. No more suffering. Where can I find Father Fabian? Well, where do you think? It's in Martin's church, of course. <laughs> his wife is, is dying of pain. We're just chatting about it. Uh... All right, I'll head off then. Yes, go now. Go before you catch the disease. Then where will we be? Oh well, I dead. Bear the pain. Lady, how are you feeling? Uh, it's probably all the mud on your face. Hey, man. Huh? Oh, shit. Sod off. What? Oh, leave me be. I want to sleep. All right, cool. I, I searched this house. Uh, there should be another house. Should, there, there can be only f three families in the whole village. All right, so this is the scent of the village. Came in from that one. Uh, there's a guard. This is the barn. This is uh, Malachek's yard. This is some uh, Melikar. Uh, there's no leg on this door. All right, so there's no, what? There's no plague in the house where it all started because the horses died first, right? All right, well, the horses are actually easier to kill. Very fragile animals, it's very weird. Uh, I haven't checked this one, obviously. <laughs> oh, somebody's dead. Who are you? Can't you see we have the plague cross on the door? I can see it. My name is Henry. I'm going to the monastery to get help. It's long past time. The Lord's already taken my poor Antony. And what do you want from me? I need to know how the illness afflicted your husband. Yes, I'll tell you everything. But first help me bury my husband. I'm too weak. And Melichar said the dead should be buried at once. Of course I'll help you. Thank you. Do I have a we shovel? We have to bury him at the back of the house. 
There's a lovely linden tree there. I understand. I'll dig the grave there. Thank you. When you're ready, come back. I'll say goodbye for now. Dig a grave. Do I, do I have a shovel? This is the question. This is the question that always plagues me. There's a linden tree behind the house. What the hell? I have no idea how a linden tree looks like. That's probably it over there. Yep. That's a linden tree. Alright, let's go. Hmm. I messed up the textures. Oh, start digging. I don't have a shovel. Alright, horsey, do you have a shovel? Shovel, 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 shovel. Ah, spade. There it is. There we go. <coughs> <coughs> Can't get out. Haha. -ha. The grave almost got me. The grave almost got me. <laughs> it's done. Thank you. Now please take him there. Oh Lord. Merciful God, have mercy on his soul. Grant him a place in thy kingdom. Grant him eternal life. She's not here yet. I, I, I already did all the work. I'm that good. I'm a badass. Ooh, Sage. <laughs> <laughs> this game conditioned me to pick herbs. <laughs> I was in the woods like, uh, what was it? Two and a half months ago? When I was back in Bulgaria? Yeah, I was picking stuff. Didn't find that much sage though. Alright, listen here. Will Machine you please cut. tell me about his illness? Certainly. My husband had the fever all over. Anything else? That's how usually fever he works. He had great pains in his belly. He said it felt like it had been stuffed with rocks. He was writhing all night through. He must have hurt terribly. Thank you. Yeah, definitely muscle spasms. Uh, let's go. So they're burning... Burning bodies over there. Wait, hold on. Is there two smokes? Yeah, there is, isn't there? All right, you know what, horsey? Let's let's. Oh wait, hold on. Mean level. Uh, Melio Dur. No, I don't want that. Uh, your stamina will regenerate twenty percent faster at night by ten percent slower. No, one durer. You grew up in impoverished conditions. So Comfort of beds is inverted for you. The worse the bed, the better you sleep, and vice versa. No. Somnic increases the time you can go without sleep. Your energy level falls forward more slowly. Renegade Brand, I don't want that. Scout 2 increases the sight distance of fast travel, so you can notice events on the way sooner and your chances of evading are 20% greater. Brutes, your favorite, your favorite brute strength to a pleasant demeanor, you get a plus 2 strength bonus but a minus 1 penalty to charisma and speech. My speech is over 10 already, so actually I can afford to do that. And my charisma I can fix with spending a little bit more money. Ken, you're handsome and charismatic, but you haven't built up the strength. Plus 2 charisma, minus 2 strength. No, 
I want strength because I want I'm using strength weapons, so as long as you remain still, your tiredness and hunger will stay at the same level. Mm, and for these ones I think I require minimal level 10. Oh I need scout 2 for this one. But scout turned out to be a useless one, so uh, I'm gonna take Brutes. Your strength is 16 now. Not bad. Now a combat and sword. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's right. And in my hand is Soul Slicer, which is long sword, which is strength based. It's basically a bastard sword. I can use it one hand or two handed. Uh, crap! I need to fix my body garment and stuff like that. Okay, sorry for the interruption. Uh, food is here, so food. Yep, strength, I need to get a better weapon. Uh, six strength, I have 16. I've outgrown the weapon, but I need better skills uh, in combat. See this one, weapon longsword. I got slash from the left. Slash from the bottom right and poke. Slash, stab, stab. Slash from the bottom, poke, poke. And a false edge. Slash from the top. And then from the right. And then from the bottom left. And I, I don't know if he does it or not. Alright. Do we have any more stuff? Speech level 10, but speech I need crap. What does it do? I need Q. There we go. You know, level 4, 8, 12. Increases your speech level by 3 when talking to nobles and wealthy people. You don't have a low born perk, so it's yeah, but I already have the low born. Uh, why he's missing an eye, I have no idea. Uh, what the hell am I doing? There we go. There's houses over there. Who oh, I don't think people are sick in those houses. Stop pretending to be tired, horsey. I know you're not. Alright, those are all the holes. Let's go to Sasau. Which way is Sasau? This is Romna, uh, Sasau is here. So. Road to Sasau. I need to head straight south and then make a left. I need to go through a patch of woods. Now nah, I'll go back and then I'll go he head south. Alright, I'll head south. Then I need to make a left and then a first right. Then keep going through the woods, past the accident, over the rocks, and straight shot. Here's the bridge. Cool. 
All right, let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do it. Yeah. In one shot. Now, oh, don't miss the turn off. Crap, I missed the turn off. No, I didn't. Yeah. There we go. We should be able to make it before nightfall. Dead horses. What's with the game and dead horses? Poor horses. I got my draw distance really, really low, so. Which could be a problem. Could actually be causing more loading than it needs to be. A lot of horse poop. Flying now. There we go. That guy. Go away. Oh, crap, I think I, I, I took the wrong turn in the woods. No, I didn't. Yeah, look at me. Yeah. Look at me and taking the right road for a change. I saw over there in the distance. myself should be a bridge somewhere here I think oh there isn't close enough.
was the inn? Anybody remember? <coughs> Past the butcher to the right. Yeah. There it is, right there. Oh crap. Hey! He's here again! to see you. Matthew, Fritz, you're alive. Of course we're alive. <laughs> Especially Fritz. You can't get rid of us that easily. I'm almost surprised how happy I am to see the pair of you are all right. We are now, but we barely made it. Yeah, yeah, it was hard. Fritz ran like a little girl. <laughs> really? Bollocks. Bloody joker. <laughs> Tell us what happened to you. They gave me a pretty good thrashing as well. It was only in Rattai that I got back in my right mind. You're not doing too well either, are you? Right now, I'm a squire for Sir Radzig. I see you've worked your way up. Nah. And how are you two getting by? It's shit. You said it. We're still chopped off to bits. Oh, the monastery a bundle. And there's no work here. Not for anyone with more than half a brain, anyway. Well, you two and work never got along. But don't tell me that they're not in need of carpenters. They're reconstructing the monastery. They don't want us there. And there's nothing else around here. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know of anything. It will really help us out right now. Well, I can ask around, but I'm not promising anything. Thanks, Henry. We'll pay off the debt, don't you worry. Hey, game saved. Alright, since my food is here and getting cold. And where would they hire you to? Well, we were carpenters in the mines. So wherever they work with wood, I suppose. Forget about construction. After Scarlet's, no one will be building for a long time. Just here in Sasau, and they don't want us here. The best chance we have is to work at a mill. People always have to eat. Ideally, we're looking for a job that pays a lot and doesn't require much work. Good luck, then. All right. Thank you for joining me, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.